Hey, and welcome to a very special edition of Smoky Ribs. This is one video in a six video collaboration, a taste-made collaboration, all about Mardi Gras and the food partaken thereof. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a king cake. King cake just screams Mardi Gras, that's all it's about. This is the only time of year that you will see king cakes in the various supermarkets, convenience stores, and such as that. And Mardi Gras typically runs between New Orleans, Louisiana, which is about 80 miles to my southwest, from there all the way to Mobile, Alabama, which is about 60 miles, and everything in between, and we're no exception. I'm right here in Biloxi, Mississippi, and they'll be having parade after parade after parade for two full weeks leading up to Fat Tuesday, which is Mar March the 4th of this year. So anyway, I'm, we're going to go ahead and get started with this king cake, going to get right into it, and let me show you how it's done. Oh, by the way, at the end of this video, there will be links to the other five videos. Please take the time to go in there and watch these other five videos. Active dry yeast. All right, now into that, I'm going to put one half cup of warm, lukewarm water, around 105 degrees. And also, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar here. This is actually going to get more sugar a little later. All right, we're going to stir this up a little bit. Give it about five minutes to make sure that this yeast is good and in fact will bloom. All right, at this point, I'm going to put in one half cup of warm milk. This is whole milk. I'm going to add in one third cup of sugar. Now, I already used some of this sugar to uh, get this yeast to working. So, total it's one third of a cup of sugar. We've got one whole egg. We've got one teaspoon of salt. One third cup of shortening. Alright, we're going to start out with two cups of all purpose flour. There'll be more flour added as we go. We're going to add a little bit more flour to this. We're going to go probably about another. Let's go about a cup and a half. I got two cups in this bowl here. Let's go about another cup and a half. All right, we're going to run this on a low speed this time. All right, now we're looking for a sticky dough, but this is a little too wet. So we're going to go in with a little bit more flour. So far, I've got about three and a half cups. All right, that's almost four cups right there. Let's try that. All right, I've removed this dough. And I'm simply just going to knead this some more by hand. All right, I'm going to use just a little bit of oil here. That should be plenty. We're going to go ahead and coat our dough, flip it over. All right now from here, I'm simply going to cover it with a, a damp towel. I'm going to place it in the oven. The oven is off, but that's a good, nice, warm place that's free of any drafts so I can get a good rise on this dough. We'll be back once this doubles in size. Okay, this dough has doubled in size and we're simply gonna punch it down just like that. All right, I've got a floured surface here. This dough is ready. We're gonna go ahead and turn it out onto this. All right, now what I'm gonna do from this point is I'm gonna actually split this in half because that's enough for two different king cakes. All right, we're just going to focus on one for right now for this video. I'll do this one here off camera. All right, I think we're about there. I'm not going to actually measure this. I can pretty much tell that we got about 8 inches, 16 here. That's about 10 inches wide. This is going to be plenty big enough for one king cake. And you can see the thickness I have right here. All right, what we're gonna do now is put together a uh, cream cheese filling for this. Okay, it's time to get this filling prepared. What I got here is one package of Philadelphia cream cheese. We're gonna throw it off into this container here. And the end of that, we're gonna add one half cup 
of white sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, all I'm going to do is take a hand mixer. I'm going to blend this together very good. And uh, keep in mind that with a king cake, it's, it's really similar to any other cake. You can put any type of filling you like in there. Man, I've, I've tr had them all. I've had blueberry filling, cherry filling, lemon. This is the uh, cream cheese. Just really, it's up to your imagination what you want to take this basic dough with and roll up, you know, with what kind of filling. filling. The... Uh, king cake is basically like a coffee cake but a really kicked up coffee cake with all the decorations and such so I'm gonna go ahead and take this hand mixer and go ahead and get this going and I'm gonna take this cream cheese filling and I'm simply just gonna spread a layer all the way across this dough here just like this all right what you want to do at this point just start right here on this end and you want to roll this up just like a pinwheel. Just work it all the way down. Just like that. Okay, so what I have here is a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And all I'm going to do is just take this and make a circle out of it. I'm going to join it together just like this. And we're going to simply let this rise. We're going to cover it and let it rise for another hour. We've been rising about an hour. We've, uh, we've increased in size here. Almost doubled in size. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop it in the oven. I'm at 375 degrees. I'm going to set it up here and let it cool off. Next, I'm going to put together a glaze that goes on this. And from there, we're going to decorate. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get this glaze started. What I've got in this bowl here is three cups of confectioner sugar. And into that, I'm going to add one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, now we're going to use somewhere between two to three tablespoons of water. I didn't measure this. I'm just going to adjust it accordingly. We're going to go with that right there. See how we look. All right, definitely need more water. Okay, this is starting to look pretty good right here. Oh, yeah. All right, this is looking pretty good. Last thing you want to do is put just a squirt of lemon juice in here. Mix that in. All right, we're going to take this glaze, and all we're going to do is just spoon it over the top and let it run down the side just like that. That's the reason I left the parchment paper under it, is to collect all this excess. I honestly don't think you can get too much of this on here. The Mardi Gras colors are purple, yellow, and green. And all I'm going to do is just shake some different colors on here. Just like that. Let's go with the green. like that some yellow which actually it's supposed to be gold it's gold green and uh, purple if you ever have a chance to come down to New Orleans you'll be seeing these colors everywhere this time of the year just go around the cake duplicating these colors by the way this is just pure sugar right here that I'm adding to it And a little bit more yellow. All right, we're going to go ahead and try a piece of this. See how we done. This smells so good. I absolutely love these things. They're awful rich, but I sure do love them. All right, here we go. That's how it looks on the end. 
I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see all the individual layers and all that cream cheese right there in the middle. All right, there's only one thing that can make this any better, and this is this Mardi Gras King Cake ice cream that we found. I've never seen this before. I think they just came out with it this year. But anyway, we're going to top a little bit right here on top. Oh yeah. All right, I'm ready to dive in. Let's see how this is. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. Mm. 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 All right, if you ever get a chance to come down to New Orleans, actually between New Orleans and Mobile, Alabama, and everywhere in between, right here down the Mississippi Gulf Coast, come down here and party at Mardi Gras. You won't regret it. Until next time, smoke your ribs. Thank you.